Still with us from earlier, Mr. Ray Davis. But first, Ray, how, how big a problem at the moment is this? So who? The, the lack of places for bands to play, for the bands themselves. Um, <clears throat> well, it is a problem, I suppose. Um, I, I, you know, I, I put it down to agents and promoters. You know. They're the people. I think most bands, I know that if I got a good pub to play in, there's a nice atmosphere, I'd play there. You know, uh, not from choice, maybe sometimes. <laughs> but I disagree with something that uh, Dave said. I think, uh, I disagree with everybody actually. I think that Blockbuster, for instance, by the suite, you know, is like 10 years ago. And it's nothing new, it's not revolutionary. No, um, the, and for me, you know, what I've seen in the pubs, mm. they don't have that certain. I don't know, charisma, factor depends, X, call it what you like. Depends how many drinks you've had. <laughs> That's really what it's about. After a day in the office, you go there as straight as a die. Well, I, I go to a lot of pubs, you know, to have a drink and to listen to music. And I, I find that the older people go there for the nostalgia of it all. You know, they can hear the songs they heard when they were young. And, but the, also the younger people that go there, like the, the 20s and the under 20s, it's something new for them and uh, they're discovering it for the first time. But the, I mean, let's ignore the pub circuit for a second. What, what other alternatives are there for a really new band? It's true, you've only got places like the Rainbow and all those big concerts. And those are only accessible to a new band if they've got very good management. In the United States, you've got, you've got clubs in Los Angeles like the Whiskey A Go Go. It's a, very, it's a big date to do and it only holds about 400 people. And everybody plays uh, the Beach Boys, Frank Zappas. Frank Zappa, I think um, you get big bands in there because it is the only place to play. The next place is the big concert hall. You mm. play the Forum or you play the Santa Monica Civic. But you have got clubs that are, that are open up to bands and, and the press go along and they're good prestige gigs. Mm. And I don't think we've got that here. Yeah. Just, just one final question to all, to all mm. of you, really. Uh, between us, can we come up with any bands that, that look as if they're going to survive and really move off into seeing anything that's been really exciting? Yeah, a glass of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> George <laughs> Melle is very good in the pub. You know, he yeah. really is. I went to a, a pub and saw George Melle upstairs and a rock band downstairs. The amount of excitement he created was... Uh, but then he's been playing pubs and, well, not pubs, but concerts a long time. Mm. But I haven't really seen any rock bands. Uh, that really uh, you know, excite me. Okay. Well, Ray Davis.